Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Bitcoin off an exchange. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter about getting your Bitcoin off the exchange, especially if you're in the US, do it and do it now. And you probably saw stuff happening in Canada and now with Ukraine and Russia, there's all sorts of crazy stuff happening. And you want to get your Bitcoin off of an exchange so that way you actually have custody of it. And I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments say things like, what does off an exchange mean? Or how do I do this? How do I set up a wallet? What type of wallet do I use? All that type of stuff. So hopefully this video will answer some of those questions. So I have some Bitcoin here on an exchange and I want to get it off. So to do that, I need to send it to an external external wallet that I own, that I self custody. And there's different types of wallets. There's ones you can put on your phone, which is what we're gonna do in this video. And this will be considered a hot wallet because it is connected to the internet and it's not as secure because you know my, my phone could be compromised or you could download a wallet onto your computer and your computer might have a virus on it and it might be compromised where somebody could you know log your keys or take screenshots of your of your computer and see you typing in your your private key or your seed phrase which we'll talk about in a minute here if you don't know what that is so you know it, there's some risk to having it on a hot wallet uh, you could do it on like a, a ledger which is you know a cold wallet it doesn't actually connect to the internet you use like an interface to go ahead and add crypto so this is more secure uh, but if you don't you know you don't have one of these uh you know this is probably the next best best option uh, you also could do multi-sig where you have you know multiple things you might have a you know uh, a ledger you might have your mobile device and you might have some other device and you can use three devices to basically secure your your bitcoin so it's a lot of different options and a lot of different ways you could go ahead and do it uh, but this way i'm about to show you is you know the, the easiest way if you're trying to do it and do it now um what we're going to be using in this video is called an app called blue wallet here it is right here um i have it loaded up now blue wallet is a highly respected bitcoin wallet that lets you self custody so that means you hold your keys and we'll talk about that in just a second here but it also plays nicely with the lightning network so you can easily open up a lightning wallet as well within blue wallet and then kind of move your funds between you know main chain bitcoin and lightning wallet so if you're interested in lightning network you know this is kind of a starting place at least but what we want to do when you set up your when you get blue wallet and i have a link in the description down below is you can click this plus button right here to add a wallet so i'm going to do that and now we have three different options here we have bitcoin lightning and vault we're going to go ahead and do bitcoin but first you could go ahead and rename it here so I'm going to say this is my example wallet and then I'm going to go ahead and tap on Bitcoin and then go ahead and tap on create and it's going to give you 12 words right here. Now these this is called your seed phrase and your seed phrase is used to generate your private keys and your public keys. So this is like your username and password for your your bank account or your, your Bitcoin wallet, okay? So this is very sensitive content right here. You do not want to give it to anyone because if you do, they're gonna have access to your Bitcoin. So you're gonna take the, this key right here and you're gonna write it down on a piece of paper and you're gonna hide that piece of paper somewhere uh, because it's very sensitive material, okay? And you can use this seed phrase to restore your wallet. So let's say that you know you set up your wallet on your phone and you lose your phone or you delete your app or something happens. Well, you could take your seed phrase since you have it and you could go get another wallet. You could get Sparrow wallet or you could even plug your seed phrase into a ledger if you want to. Any other Bitcoin wallet, you could plug your seed phrase in there and access your Bitcoin that way. So the key point is this seed phrase is very important. Again, it's like your username and password for your Bitcoin. You can use it on any Bitcoin wallet. So if you don't want to use Blue Wallet, you don't have to. Again, you can put it on a ledger if you want to. And you want to keep it safe and secret. And once you have it written down, you can go ahead and tap on, okay, I wrote it down. And there, just like that, we have an example wallet right here. So if I tap into it, I have a couple of options. I could go ahead and buy Bitcoin or I could go ahead and receive and send. I want to go ahead and receive because I'm trying to take it off of an exchange, right? So I'll go ahead and receive. And it'll ask me if I wrote down my seed phrase, which yes, I have. So yes, I have. And there we go. It gives me an address or a QR code that I could go ahead and send my Bitcoin to. So what I want to go ahead and do is tap on this right here. And then I need to get it onto my computer real quick. And now I want to go to the exchange so I can send my Bitcoin to this address. 
And so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw and Bitcoin, crypto address. And of course, depending on what exchange you're sending from, you might have different steps, but hopefully you'll still get the idea. Use this address. And then I want to send the maximum amount and it gives me the fees and all that other stuff. Then I'll go ahead and withdraw and my two-step verification code. And there we go. The withdrawal has started. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop back up my blue wallet and I'm going to go ahead and refresh it real quick and the transaction might pop up. It'll usually pop up as soon as it's found on the blockchain. So it might take Coinbase a few minutes to, to go ahead and submit it to the blockchain. But once it's there, once it's pending, we should see it incoming into my, my wallet here. Alrighty, so we can see that I have a pending transaction right here and it says CONF, which stands for confirmations equals zero. And so after I believe it's three confirmations, it will be solidified in my wallet here. But let's go ahead and tap into this pending transaction real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap on details up here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down here and we see the option for view in block explorer. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that real quick. And it loads up my transaction on mempool.space. And I have a video that explains mempool.space. So if you're interested in learning more about this website, then link in the description down below. But we can see right here that my block or my transaction is in this first block right here. So as soon as this block is mined, it'll pass over here and that'll be one confirmation. And then this is two confirmations. And then right here will be three confirmations. And usually a block is mined every 10 minutes. So hopefully within about 30 minutes, I'll have three confirmations and the Bitcoin will be locked in my self custody wallet off the exchange. So we'll check back once it's all confirmed. Alrighty, so I'm back and I'm not on camera anymore because I just worked out and kind of sweaty and stuff. But anyway, we've had four confirmations at this point. So this Bitcoin is now in our wallet and we can go ahead and send it somewhere if we want to. But before we do that, I just want to illustrate the this seed phrase here and kind of how it works. Because like I said, it's kind of like the username and password for your Bitcoin. And like I said, you can use it with any Bitcoin wallet. So that's what I want to show you here so you can kind of see how it works so that way if you're like yeah i don't really trust blue wallet or they go and they do something sketchy or maybe they stop you know working period and you're like well my bitcoin's lost and i want to show you that the seed phrase you can you know recover your bitcoin and i'm gonna be using sparrow wallet which is a desktop wallet but you could use again any bitcoin wallet and i'm just going to go ahead and show you how it works so i'm going to do a file and a new wallet here and this is example wallet and create wallet. And then I've got single signature and native SegWit here. And I wanna do new or imported software wallet. So we'll select that option here. And then we got mnemonic words. And I can go ahead and select 12 words because Blue Wallet gave me 12 words, right? So let's go ahead and plug those 12 words in real quick. So we got, and then I'll go ahead and do create key store and import key store. And I'll go ahead and apply it. And it asks if I want a password for this wallet. I don't want one and we'll do that. And then I'll go to transactions here and it's loading the history, for example, wallet. And we can see right here that I have at transaction that I did. And we have a little notice up here as well. And we can see the total balance right here. So if I had multiple transactions, I could then go ahead and send from this wallet and so on. And so hopefully with this example, you're seeing how the seed phrase works. So basically your Bitcoin is on the blockchain, right? And this seed phrase here lets you access your Bitcoin on the blockchain, no matter what Bitcoin wallet you're using, whether you're using Blue Wallet, Sparrow Wallet, or any other Bitcoin wallet. So that's why keeping this seed phrase safe and secure is super important to do because as long as you have these 12 words you could get to your Bitcoin now let's go back to blue wallet real quick and we'll go ahead and send it out of here so you can see how that works in case you do want to send it back to an exchange to sell it or you want to send it to some other wallet that's more secure like maybe you set up a multi-sig wallet or something like that and you want to send it there to keep it safer either way we're sending Bitcoin and this is how you do it you come down here and you click on or tap on send and then you can tap on that amount right there, so that's zero. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on total here to send the maximum amount I can, so useful balance. And then we can go ahead and copy and paste the address here, or we could go ahead and scan it. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the address. So let me go ahead and load up where I'm sending it to. So there's my address, and then I can go ahead and write a note to self, so returning funds. And then I could go ahead, and if I tap on the fee right here, I could tap there. 
and I could go ahead and select how quickly I want my Bitcoin to come back. And I have another video on how to figure out the best fee. I'm not gonna talk about it here, but just for right now, I'm just gonna do slow because I'm in no real rush to get this back. And then I just go ahead and hit next. And then I'll go ahead and send now. And then I can go ahead and tap on done. And then I can go ahead and tap on this transaction here. And I could go ahead and tap on details then. And then again, I could tap on view and block explorer. Oh, and you see Sparrow wallet saw the transaction as well. So basically I have two different wallets looking at this same Bitcoin address. I have blue wallet and Sparrow wallet, both you know accessing the same account on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so here's my transaction sitting here in the second block. And as soon as this block is mined, I'll have it back in my account. And that's how you send Bitcoin from Blue Wallet. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And now you know how to get your Bitcoin off of exchanges and into self-custody. If you like this video, I appreciate any source of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.